Hey everyone, Jazzy here. I know, long time, no see. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Uh, so here is my quick explanation. Um, it's been a year and a lot has happened. Obviously, I'm much healthier than I was, as you can see, definitely putting on lots of muscle and um, a good amount of weight. I am now about 105 pounds, which is a significant increase from where I was last year. I was uh, between 70 and 90 pounds last year, just all depending on like my health. But this year I have kind of stayed 100, 100 pounds or above roughly for the majority of the year. So I'm doing much better. Um, last year I wasn't really healthy enough to think about vlogging. I just spent a lot of time in the hospital and as you can see, new background, um, blank wall, but different wall. I re-enrolled to my initial university last year in the fall and I started in the spring. And I'm just finishing up my bachelor's degree, which is in creative writing. And I should be finishing either in the fall of next year or in the spring of next year or winter i mean winter of next year um i may try to like prolong it so that i can continue into the spring because there are some classes that i need for the next program that i'm going into and i just kind of need to get those out of the way and funding purposes i'm going to see if i can slip them into my undergrad um as far as that is going, that was one of the reasons that I didn't restart my channel just because I was really focusing hard on school and I'm really glad I did because I was able to do really well uh, last semester despite missing three months of school. Um, I was in the hospital for three months, but it was like towards the tail end of the semester. So I was able to attend class through Zoom and do like all of my work from the hospital. Um, I ended up pulling off 4.0 that semester. This semester, I started off the year a little rough. I was in the hospital from September 11th to October 12th, and I missed a good chunk of some of the core stuff for some of my classes, especially Spanish, um, which I'm taking all the way. Like I'm going to go get my Spanish fluency, fluency certificate. I'm aware that fluency is a term that universities use, but it really doesn't mean anything in the real world. It just basically means, yay, you have your basics. And now you have to go learn all the colloquialisms of the language somewhere else. The biggest reason that I'm taking uh, my Spanish to fluency certification is because it's going to help me in my next step. And about the next step. Well, sorry, you're not going to get to learn about the next step until the next step is absolutely solidified in writing on paper. I do have preliminary um, solidification of this next step, but again, I wanna make sure that it is absolutely locked in before I start talking about it. Given the uncertainty or the unknown of what that really is, there are a lot of things that I need to do in order to prepare for this. And I have been taking step after step after step to make sure that I am ready. And that included really focusing and honing in on certain subjects and just doing really well. So that's part of the reason why I didn't start the channel last year. I was going to, cause I had time and I live in town now. So I have internet, but again, I needed to focus on school, myself, my health, blah, blah, blah. Second, I left YouTube because I acquired a stalker, a real stalker, somebody who I actually not only had to leave three different platforms to get away from, but I actually had to contact the customer support for Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to get this person removed. I had to actually have them IP banned. I've um, made some security changes and I've kind of changed the way that I'm going to be doing things moving forward. I'm gonna be transparent, raw, and straightforward as I always have been, but I'm just gonna be a little more careful who I interact with also, I wanted to announce the fact that given my newfound fitness, I have gotten into various different types of fitness. Um, I'm mainly in heavy lifting and CrossFit, and I actually 
have officially retired from hockey and international play. Although I miss it a lot. <laughs> so I am probably going to rejoin next season kind of as just like a rec player. I don't really have an interest in competing like hardcore. That's not really my focus anymore. But again, I still enjoy it and will definitely skate here and there. Um, so I have started CrossFit like hard. I am going into this headlong. Uh, I am on track to go to the qualifiers on February 24th in Madison, Wisconsin for the games. I will be competing in the adaptive division and this is where it gets complicated. I am unsure whether I'm going to be competing in seated with hip function, which is paraplegics who are incomplete or other people like transverse myelitis, where they have the ability to move their legs, but they still need to use a wheelchair due to balance or impaired muscle power. Um, however, <laughs> surprise, my MS has went into remission. So I actually have been spending more time uh, standing. And so I'm gonna adjust my camera. So I'm probably going to be competing in the seated with hip function. However, due to the remission that I'm in um, from the multiple sclerosis, I actually have been doing more walking than sitting. <laughs> I do most of my workouts standing now. Um, there are a few things that I absolutely just cannot do standing. Uh, certain lifts I have to do seated because my balance isn't real good, especially uh, with stuff that involves holding weight over my head or slightly behind my midline um, because that just I don't have good balance that way. Um, I have pretty good balance side to side, and my forward balance is, is good. It's really good, but uh, I do have trouble when I try to pick things up um, that are in front of me, I kind of fall forward a little bit. Um, but again, it, it's great. I have these amazing leg braces. Um, I've showed them off before. These are made by a company called Fabtech, or at least these are the pieces in the back are made by a company called Fabtech. And these specific braces are called PDE braces. They're carbon fiber and they close using a boa closure. I have, so I'm completely uh, normal, roughly, um, from the knees up. I do have impaired uh, feeling in my fingertips, the outsides of my arms, my pinky and my ring finger are slightly weaker um, than normal, and I don't have the ability to like close my pinky to my thumb because of different uh, stuff that's happened, especially with the MS, my lesion, um, initially for the transverse myelitis, which was the initial infection way back in 2011, I have a C6, C7 lesion, which is why the pinkies are that way. Um, I ended up developing MS because of all of the different neurological things. I guess there's like a predisposition if you have transverse myelitis, I'm not sure. But it's great because when it's in remission, other than having complete paralysis below the knees, I'm able to do just about anything. My muscles are impaired my abs because of all of the different surgeries that I've had. Um, but you know, I'm able to develop upper abs, just not really lower abs. Moving forward in this channel, you're going to be seeing videos regarding how to's. I like to stick to this because those are fairly popular and I'm not trying to follow trends, but I know a lot of people who end up with disabilities of varying types like to see how a multitude of people do things. So, I'll be continuing with the how-tos. We're gonna do some stuff in a wheelchair, some stuff standing, different adaptations. Um, definitely gonna be doing a lot of gym stuff and workout stuff just because a lot of people have made requests about that. More videos about my journey to the games and my journey to my next step and my overall career because let me tell you, the career field that I'm going into is not as disability friendly as a lot of other careers and it is going to be challenging and probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life, including trying to keep myself alive. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on that and I feel like 
I feel like it's going to help a lot of people not necessarily get to the same place, but realize that there's so much more out there for individuals in our situation. So you just definitely stay tuned for that. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to unveil that. I am going to try to simply put out one quality video a week and then we'll kind of ramp up from there. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. Obviously, I'm doing fantastic and I've been doing a workout the entire time I've been standing here because I'm kind of like doing a wall sit. Have a fantastic day and as always, stay strong.